Hi, everybody. It's Sandy Parker from Lighten Up, and I have to confess something. I have made a huge, huge, huge mistake. I don't know if you can see it, but maybe you can read it better like that. In my efforts to follow advice from others, I did something that it took me six months to figure out. So I have a company, Lighten Up Global, and I want to do great and magnificent things, and I want to serve people, and I want to feel connected to everybody. And so I started um, seeking vendors who could help me do that, a publicist, someone to help me make a website, someone to help me with my branding. And what I did over time like one degree at a time, I let them convince me to change things, to change me, to change what represented me. So I went to a conference in New York a couple of weeks ago with Kyle Cease, who I love. And during that conversation, we were talking about what is your North Star? What is it that points you in the direction you want to go? that's fixed so firmly, it can't be sort of adrift. And I thought I knew. I thought, Lighten Up Global, that's my company. That's been me. Um, that's what I care about. That's what I want for my life. That's how I want to live my life. Um, and then I noticed that we started making changes really slowly at first. Like maybe it could be instead of Sandy L. Parker, it could be Sandy Lighten Parker. Um, and then it was S. Lighten Parker. And then it was, you know, the Lumi, the book came out and then it was Sandy Lighten Parker. And so what we did was sort of change things a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. And then I looked at it one day and I went, it's not even me. It's not even, it doesn't, I don't feel in my heart what I want to feel in my heart if I'm doing something. If I'm putting my day, my energy, my hours, my hopes, my dreams in it, then dadgummit, it ought to be mine. And I had, you know the old story about how do you boil a frog one degree at a time? We had turned up the heat like one degree after one degree after one degree. And I was like, I don't even recognize what I want to do anymore. So I got an email from a friend the other day and she said, you know, failure is not an option. But rather, actually, failure is an option. It's actually a reality. There are times to fail. There are times when things should end. There are times when the effort going in really isn't producing enough outcome to be worth it. So I decided with a, a relationship or two that the time had come to make an end. Um, it was a vendor relationship in one case. It was uh, changing the whole direction with another vendor, sort of claiming my center point and saying, you know, I love everything you've done and I'm sorry it took so long for me to figure this out. But actually, I have to rearrange our direction so that it suits me. It has to suit me because it's mine. And um, I, I remember thinking, oh, I can never do that. They will just be so mad. They will just be so upset with me. They will be blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I had to come to a terms with the fact that I can't do more than accept my own responsibility in the mess I made. And I can't do anything better than clean up the mess I made. So my message for you today is when you don't know what to do, don't do anything pause, sit, listen, have some fun, paint a picture, get in yourself, find your heart, and then have the courage to do what your heart says. Only you can, li can live your real life, and only I can live my real life. This is my life, and I want this life on my terms. This is Sandy Parker with Lighten Up Global, I want to say, please live life on your own terms, but you don't have to. 
but it sure feels good when you claim your life back and say, this is mine. I want it my way. Have a great day. Love you.